let us discuss about telescope telescope is used to see the distant objects clearly for example it is used to study the surface features of the moon and the planet okay this is the telescope and how it is constructed it is having two metallic tubes one is bigger metallic tube and this is smaller metallic tube so a bigger metallic tube consists of a convex lens it is having larger focal length see see it is having larger focal length it is mounted in a bigger tube okay so it is called objective lens it is called objective lens a convex lens having larger focal length is called objective lens in telescope it is mounted in bigger tube and it is smaller tube it is having another convex lens which is less focal length see this is another convex lens it is lesser focal length it is having lesser focal length so it is called eye lens it is eye lens so in telescope object lens having larger focal length and eye lens having lesser focal length okay, it is different from compound microscope okay so and it is having two metallic tubes these two metallic tubes are easily slide in one another okay so now how the image is formed let us place an object if an object is beyond if an object is beyond center of curvature of objective lens like this this is an object beyond center of curvature object lens at a distance from the objective lens now the rays are passes like this this is par passes parallel to the principal axis and incident on convex lens that is objective lens after refraction it will passes through principal focus of objective lens next another ray will passes through the optical center of object lens like this and these two are met at this point here the image is formed what is this this is the image now this is real and inverted image it is real and inverted image so this is object a this is object ab and this is b dash a dash one so it is inverted here the object is inverted so now if you now this real image is object of is becomes object to the eye lens it is and uh, it is becomes an object to the eye lens if you adjust the eye lens the image is placed between principal focus of eye lens and optical center of the eye lens now where is the image is form see extend this lines like this this is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will passes through the principal focus of eye lens and another ray will passes through the optical center of eye lens like this now these two are not met anywhere now if, if you extend the rays like this these two are met at this point these extended rays are at this point because the if you observe this these are coming from this means these are diverging from this point so here the image is formed so this is the image and where it is formed this is formed same side of the eye lens and it is highly enlarged okay this is image of the object of a eye lens and this is called virtual image because it is formed same side of the object virtual and it is it's not inverted because it is same same side of the object and the it is formed in the same direction okay so this is called virtual image and it is highly enlarged image it is a magnified image so in this way we can get the clear image for the distant objects by using telescope so the telescope having two lenses one is objective lens another one is eye lens object lens having larger focal length and eye lens having smaller focal length 
the image is virtual and magnified it is magnified image highly magnified image so the telescope used to study the surface features of the moon and the planet and it is used to study distant objects like stars comets and etc okay